The next Minecraft Live event is right around the corner and as always Mojang has given us three mobs to vote for and whichever one wins gets added to the game in Minecraft 1.20. However to start this video off Mojang is doing the mob voting a little bit different than the other mob votes. We will now have 24 hours to cast our vote instead of the very short duration of time that we used to get during the live event. So you don't only have time to vote during the live event anymore you'll be able to vote within the 24 hours and then the voting will end during the event. I should also note that within those 24 hours you can change your vote anytime and however many times you want. So that's a big plus as well. Furthermore the voting will happen in the Minecraft launcher and for Bedrock players it will happen on a server that you'll need to join to cast your vote. I'll leave details down below in the description. Also with this new voting system it looks like we will no longer have multiple voting rounds which we used to have which personally I'm a big fan of. In my opinion this is a great improvement from what we have had thus far when it comes to mob voting. Mojang, thumbs up. With the voting covered and improved let's look at the three new mobs we get to pick from. First off we got the sniffer which is an almost turtle looking mob that hatches from a very big looking egg that is ancient and can sniff out ancient seeds that can grow some mystical plant that we don't quite know anything about yet. It says the mob is extinct and from what I can tell from the blog post it's a mob that when we play we'll need to help it come back to being unextinct basically. Is, is that even a word? By searching for chests underwater that might contain sniffer eggs. Secondly we got the rascal which is a weird hoodie fella playing hide and seek with you down in the mine shafts and if you find this guy three times he will reward you with an enchanted pickaxe. At least that's according to Tiny Agnes. Finally we got the tough golem which is a new golem that players can craft and that can hold an item that you give it or if you don't give it an item it will pick up random items from the ground if there are any. At first I wasn't really impressed with these mobs but after thinking about it for a while and watching a few of Susuma Void's videos I'm starting to appreciate and accept them. Except one of them. I don't feel like the rascal really adds anything interesting to the game, at least not from the details that we have been given so far. Maybe Mojang has other plans for this guy if he's chosen, but that is just pure speculation. The sniffer and the tough golem however I find much more interesting. With the sniffer not only do we get a new mob that looks cool, but we get a brand new plant as well. Now considering we just got a bunch of new plants from the Lost Caves biome, I doubt it will just be any plant quote unquote it would have to be something special, at least those are my thoughts and expectations. Now the tough golem didn't really interest me much until I saw Susuma voice starting to talk about if the golem could potentially be controlled using redstone or could be commanded when to stand still and when to move. I started to get interested, however this is just pure speculation from Tsuzuma's Void. He said so himself and Mojang has not said anything about this at all. But if we go back to what we know for certainty about the tough golem and not wishful thinking, which we do have to assume for the time being, I still like the thought of a completely passive pet golem basically that can display cool items for you in your base. Anything beyond that that Mojang might add would just be a plus. Personally I'm torn between the sniffer and the tough golem. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these three creatures you'll be voting for and while you're down there if you could do me a favor and hit the like button on this video to support the channel that would be great. But with the mobs covered what will the overall theme be for version 1.20? Well, so far, we don't know. We haven't gotten anything revealed yet, so it's way too early to draw any conclusions. However, I'm starting to get the feeling that this could potentially be the archaeological update. Mojang was planning to add archaeology to Minecraft not too long ago, however, it was postponed at the time. So, there is one feature that is postponed, even like after the holiday release, and that's archaeology. And the reason is that archaeology is a complete new system, which is very exciting, but that means that we really want to give it the time it deserves to we so we can make it fun, inspiring, delightful and, and Minecrafty. So therefore, uh, it's postponed. Could this be making a return in this update? The reason I say this is because of a few things. One is the sniffer. It's an ancient mob with ancient seeds. In my opinion, that's very fitting to the topic of archaeology, having things that are overall ancient, old, and that needs finding. Second, in the trailer we see a nautilus shell sitting on top of the fireplace. 
This could just be random or it could signify either something related to the ocean or related maybe to a fossil or something like that. Again, this is just pure speculation. We'll have to see what Mojang has up their sleeve. What do you think this update will focus on? Let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Now, as a final note, I'll be making more videos regarding 1.20. So if you are interested, make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss them and click that bell to get notifications for when I upload. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.